Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, the last few days it's been tough on a lot of people online. Of course Saturday. Uh, find out the news that Chadwick Boseman passed away. Uh, I woke up Saturday morning and I was in shock. It was, it was hard to process. Uh, somebody, it's a weird feeling when you see somebody who you admire or you watch in movies and then they're gone and they pass away. It's a strange feeling that you have towards that person because you've enjoyed what they've done on the screen. You've looked at them as kind of a, a role model per, per se, especially if you're an actor, especially if you're a black person. A lot of kids looked up to him and he had a big influence on movies and on people in general. And for the last four years, he was dealing with cancer. I didn't know about it. Many people didn't know about it. He was still working. He was still doing all the Avenger films. He was still working. He had a few Netflix films. 21 Bridges. He was still at work. But he going through this pain. Through this trauma. That only him and I presume his family knew about. But he never put himself first. He was always putting other things in front. Like Black Lives Matter. He was also doing charity events for children, donating toys, things like that. You know, those are the things that he really put his time and energy into and making entertainment for us as fans. And that's something that is truly remarkable. So I was in shock Saturday morning when I woke up uh, and to the news that he had passed away. And it's a big loss for movies going forward, for the entertainment world, for all of those stuff. It, it really is. And... Fair play to the guy, you know, he, he he never said, look, this is what's wrong with me. He never said, have sympathy for me. He never did. He always put other people and other things uh, first, which is what a real hero it does, you know. And I remember the first time I saw him was in Civil War. Captain America's Civil War, of course, his first appearance as Black Panther. And I was like, well, I did, like I'm not a comic book reader, so I'm like, well, what kind of character is this? It's kind of like Batman, you know. So I went in and I was watching the film and I was like... That's a pretty cool character. That's a pretty cool suit. And he had a pretty good arc in that in that film as well. Uh, his father dying and him after taking up the mantle as Black Panther. So I kind of loved that dynamic in that film. And then to see him in other films, uh, Endgame and Infinity War. He was always great in those things. And then especially with Black Panther making the money and impact that it did. That can't be... That can't be... That can't be taken lightly unbelievable i know he was highlighted as the first black superhero i know blade is kind of a, a superhero kind of but he's kind of an anti-hero so chadwick boseman really was the first leading man black superhero and that film did so well it opened up so many doors for black actors and black directors and things like that you know so he has had an impact in hollywood and it's a shame that he has passed away but it, it always brings me back when, when somebody that i admire an artist, a movie maker, an actor, a sports person. It brings me back to this quote from Heath Ledger. You know, when I'm gone, my movies will live on. Those, like his art, Chadwick Boseman's art will live on. It will stand the test of time. It will out outlive any of us. So 100 years from now, Black Panther will exist. And young black children can look at that film. Uh, films like The 42, you know. Those films, his art, will stand the test of time. And that's a beautiful quote from Heath Ledger. Of course, his film The Dark Knight will live on forever, probably the greatest performance of all time. But it was very sad news. And it's it's a huge loss for Hollywood, for movies going forward. But I, as I said uh, on social media, him as Black Panther, him as, him as an actor, is not as, as important as him being a family man. Him being a good person who did good things for people who needed it. And you have to remember he is more than just an actor. He is a person who had a family and people that loved him. Now I won't talk about the future of Black Panther in this video. I'll give it a while before I talk about something like that. Uh, but he is bigger. For, this is one instance where the actor is bigger than the actual character. And it's not too many times you'd hear me say that. You know, no, nobody's bigger than a, than a sports team. Nobody's bigger than a, than a franchise. Nobody's bigger than a movie. Nobody's bigger than a character when they're playing a character that has existed forever. But in this instance, Chadwick Boseman is bigger than Black Panther. He is bigger than Marvel. 
and I've enjoyed his work and I will continue to enjoy his work. My favourite film, the best film that has come out this year for me has been The Five Bloods on Netflix. Absolutely outstanding film. Brilliantly made and he plays a character that appears as a ghost in that film as well. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Brilliant. One of my favourite films this year that I've watched. And Chadwick Boseman for me and anything that I've ever seen him in. He stole the show. He acted the shit out of it. And he's going to be a huge loss. I want to say that all my love towards his family and people that knew him. And I will continue to watch his roles going forward. I'm sure you will too. Guys, let me know your thoughts on Chadwick Bowles in the past. Now, where's the first time, what's the first thing you've seen him in? How did you really stand up and appreciate him as an actor? I think he's a real hero to go for four years dealing with something so hard and to not make it all about him. An absolute real hero. Rest in peace.